Hello everybody and uh, welcome to this new video. Um, in today's video I'm going to do some trick training with the horses and at least one of the alpacas. I hope to get two of them. Um, in the back door of the alpacas and here's Pequeño. Here I have Pequeño and I'm first going to brush him and use some anti-itch because his fur is itching and then he um, is itchy here and then all his manes broke so I use that so I'm first going to brush him and then I'm going to work with him all this uh, this video will be shot in different parts and today will be with Pequeño the first part and then you will also see some other parts so let's brush him and let's go before we begin, what do I use? I have my pony, a halter, a rope, then I have a target and I use a lid from something I found. Uh, I have a horn and then I have my whip and of course my cookies, which are very important. So let's begin. First things first, um, I always start with this exercise and that's with him learning or remembering the signal and my signal is yes very happy and then he gets the cookie in this exercise he needs to look away from my hand or from the cookies that I have in there and he can ask for them he needs to wait for them and that's what I always do first so he remembers that and then he can get them after I give the signal so now he remembers the signal again I get the target which is a lid and then I'm going to ask him to touch the target and this is um, helpful in later situa situations um, and for now I use it to stretch his body so first I just ask him forward and low and high and I ask him to walk towards me or the target and then when he touches it I give my signal and after the signal he gets the cookie I do this a few times and after I did it um, a few times I'm going to do it to his side so he has to bend both sides um, and that's a very good exercise for him also to stretch his body you can also do it to his front legs or you can use it in other exercises and I make sure I do it on both sides equally sometimes or in the beginning you have to make sure your horse knows how that he has to bend <laughs> because sometimes they just walk towards it and they keep walking backwards so you need to help him a little bit with bending his head but don't force it your horse has to do it all by himself start small and build it up f further backwards so when we're done with that trick we're going on to the next one so i get my horn and i'm going to do a trick that i did only for the second or maybe third time with Pequeño here he understood it very quick so that was very good so he has to bite in uh, this horn and when he bites it you hear a sound which we call toot um, so I ask him to toot and then when he bites it you hear the sound and I give him the signal that he did good and he gets a cookie and I can really see that he likes this trick because he really does effort even when I uh, go a bit further away from him he has to think a bit but then he goes and he does it so it's very cute and very fun to learn your horse this because it's a really unexpected trick for a horse to do so next I have my whip um, but before I'm going to do some tricks with my whip I'm first going to ask him to give me a kiss and I also really love this trick, but sometimes Pequeño gets a bit enthusiastic and that's no problem, but you have to be careful that they don't bite your face. 
but I really love that a horse can give you a kiss. So it's also a very sweet trick to learn. So now onto the salute. So giving his leg up in the air. First, I'm always going to stand next to him and I'm going to wait until he waits, if that makes sense. Because if he just randomly starts doing it and I go give him some cookies, then he will do it all day long just until he gets cookies and then you get dangerous situa situations and that is something I really don't want. So what I do, I just wait and then I um, say uh, Vucha, so ask him to give his feet and I move my own leg forward and then I ask him with my whip um, and I don't use my whip really, I just point at it and sometimes I really give really soft um, pinches or I use it really soft so he knows what which leg because sometimes he get confused and use the wrong leg and the one side is easier than the other one but that's something normally that normal is I guess um, so yeah I also do this on both sides a few times so now I'm going over to ask his back feet up and I do this because I like uh, it's something different and he has to think more about it and it's also good for tricks later on just like the pee off because then he needs to lift all of his feet and with this you already made a little start of it so um, that's what I like and he really needs to think again what I'm asking um, but immediately when he lifts it I give my signal and then I also ask it on the other side um, and this is also just to change things a bit up so now we're going to the next trick but before we start that I we um, do another time salute on both sides because we're going to the Spanish walk and that's basically um, the salute with both legs one at a time while he's walking forward so I'm just repeating the salute again just once on both sides and then I put him back and then I'm going to walk with him forward while I'm asking a salute and um, we are already that far that I can ask him a few times again after each other the salute on both legs first I just ask one leg make sure he was willing to walk forward then I gave him a treat and um, then I was asking the other leg a few times and walking forward and then I was asking first one side then the other leg on the other side so I have both legs uh, and he had to go forward and then slowly I'm building that up until he can just keep on walking with yeah, salute or Spanish walk all the time every time I ask him so you have to build it up slowly but first you ask left and you ask right and um, I think he can do it three or four times um, so three times the salute or four times and sometimes it's less sometimes it's more it's also how his mood is and just hold all of the situation around us um, but we're pretty close to getting something that already looks like a real Spanish walk. Sometimes he lifts his feet too high and then forgets that he has to walk forward. But the intention is there. So that's how uh, he does the Spanish, uh, yeah, the Spanish walk. So the last tricks from Pequeño are inside. Um, these are two tricks that I love to combine because you need the other to begin with the next one a bit. Um, he, I use a pole and he has to go wide over it. Um, his hind legs should be behind the pole and his front legs should get over the pole. And then I ask him to stand wide. And when he's wide, um, I'm going to ask the next trick and that's the bow. Um, I'm going to get his leg and I'm going to take it backwards with me of course I'm doing this very carefully and I'm also watching him and I'm also going to ask his head down with me um, 
and that's just with my hand going backwards and he has to follow it with the cookies which isn't really a problem and then I ask him to kneel down with his leg and put his head between the legs but we're still struggling with this trick a bit but I think we're getting pretty close to what it should be um, until now I just did it with the right leg kneeling down um, but I'm also going to try kneeling down with the left leg next time I'm going to do trick, trick training with him but his intentions are there and I'm super proud of how he is doing everything so um, when he has done or showed me and that he's done it's okay and I uh, give him a cuddle and we're done then I ask him a kiss to close everything well and that was the trick training video part for Pequeño this little man did very good but um, I tried a bow um, and that is something we're still trying to figure out how it works for us and he was already tired at the end because we did tricks for 20 minutes and it's pretty hot on this side of the arena where the sun is on um, but I'm really proud how he tried his best and I hope you like to see this part <laughs> yeah you did good um, now I'm going to let him roll and see if he wants to uh, do something else with me but for what he has to do it's over he did very good and his mind is really full I can see in his eyes but I'm really proud of he, how he did things some things we just just did for the third time so very sweet hello today I'm going to do trick training with Primero with Primero I don't do a lot of trick training because he's still very young and well, trick training the, with the alpaca is still very new in this world, I have the feeling. There's not much on the internet that I can find. They say alpacas are very smart, so they should pick it up easy. Um, but maybe the things I want to learn them aren't that easy for them, I think. Um, so what do I have for Primero? I only do a few tricks. I have a seesaw that we that's just some plank with a little um, pole under it so it goes from one side to the other when he's walking over it. It's still pretty hard for him but I just keep on trying and every time he walks a bit up to it I reward him. And also if somebody knows a place where I can get alpaca cookies please tell me because now I just use their normal food. He doesn't mind, he just wants to eat something, but I would love to give him some nice treats. Um, so he's walking over there every time up to the half in the beginning, but it's still very weird that the seesaw switches from high to low. Um, and he also likes to be close to me, I guess, so he likes to follow me and then steps off it. But we're working on it and, well... This was like the second or third time training with it and he improved already a lot. So really proud with the progress he is making. So next up I have a pole and I'm asking Primero to walk over it, go backwards uh, over it. I'm asking him to do side passes with, well side passes, so with the pole between his legs. And I'm doing this to teach him that some things are just weird or different than he's used to. And in two months he will be turning one. So I think this is very good for him to learn all of this stuff. And um, yeah, I'm doing this a few times. And some, it, sometimes it goes easier than other times. But I think this is very good for him. So yeah, that's why I'm working with a pole. Uh, standing white is very weird something for an alpaca but I will try that uh, sometime but first I just want him to get used to a pole stepping over it doing side passes and stuff like that but maybe in the future we will be doing all kinds of tricks that also the horses can do so now that I did something different in between uh, asking only the same thing I did the pull in between and now I'm going back to the seesaw and he's being a 
bit less motivated sometimes but he's also going on further at some points um so he's also going to lay down you will see but that's just because he just doesn't get it he is getting tired i did trick training for a pretty long time with him so he got a bit tired and his head was probably a bit full but as you can see he's standing on there he's waving on the seesaw so he is already improving in just only this training and um, after this I will do another trick and then I will go back to the seesaw once more. Primero was getting a bit tired but I just give him some hugs, asked him for a kiss and I rewarded him for the kisses that he gave me and I just sat with him, looked what he was wanting to do and then I went on to the next trick. So before I went on with the next trick I went back to the seesaw just to go over once more and as you can see he is pretty confident now walking up the seesaw already he goes backwards when I ask it uh, to him and eventually he just walks on it when I'm not really paying attention um, and it's pretty weird I think for an alpaca to learn this in the beginning so I was really proud when he walked over and to end the session with Primero I uh, did something that I also love to do with the horses and that is to ask one of his feet up so just kind of starting with a salute I'm not sure if an alpaca is able to give a salute, but I love the idea of it. So that's what I'm going to try learning him. Um, as you can see, he really pulls up his leg and puts it down quick and doesn't really understand it yet. But he is getting there. And then once more, just to finish the training, I want to see if he goes over the seesaw again. And then I just give him a hug and a kiss and... We're done with the training because it was a long training for him, but he did amazing and I was really proud and I still am. <laughs> Primero did really well. He even went over the seesaw that we made especially for the alpacas. But now he really wants to go back to his family. He even laid down like <laughs> he wanted to say, I'm done. Just let me go. Uh, and he rolled a bit, but now he really is done. He even jump through the fans of the arena <laughs> so um, I hope you like this part and enjoy the next part with Svenjo hello everybody um, I'm here with Svenjo today and he's watching away because Pequeno is still in the meadow um, we already practiced a little bit but not really trick training but he finds it very hard to stand still at the washing place or the brushing place whatever you want to call it and I just practiced that by brushing his mane a little bit and doing his hooves and that's very special to me that he's doing that so well so I have a good feeling about our trick training I'm sorry about the plane coming over but I'm very hap uh, happy how he did and that makes me even more curious how he will do so enjoy watching so with Svenjo I have one thing different than with Pequeño and that is a cone and that's because Svenjo can do an other trick than Pequeño can um, and that I think is his favorite trick. First I start again with checking if my sign is still accurate, if it still works. Svenjo finds it a bit more difficult to wait for the cookies and when he knows that I have cookies he almost always eats my whole hand so it's even more important with him than with Pequeño to check the signal again. Um, I have the same signal with Svenjo as with Pequeño so it's still yes! Very happy and I just check again does he look away when I just represent the cookies to him and if he does he gets the cookies when I give the signal. So yeah that's the first thing I check again. And now we're going over to the next trick and I ask him to give me a kiss. I just love how Svenjo picks all these things up really easy and 
I just love how he gives the kisses very sweet and gentle, but then just eat my hand with the cookie almost. But Svenja just gives the kisses very gentle, so I'm not worried that he will eat my face or anything, and it's just very sweet how he does it. So now I'm going to the Target, and Svenjo just loves to get everything in his mouth. So getting the Target, he tries to get it literally, but touching it is a bit harder. But eventually he does it, and it's fine. Um, in the beginning it was a bit hard to just learn him to touch, but now he does it. I can do it up, I can do it down, I can ask him forward with it, um, I can ask him towards himself. Sometimes he is a bit distracted, but that's normal with every horse, he is sometimes a bit distracted, even every human. Um, I also ask him to bend with the lid, or with the target, um, but for Svanjo it's a bit harder, he found, finds bending a lot uh, harder than Pequeño, so he doesn't go as far as Pequeño goes, um, but he's doing what he can, and if he can go further, I'm not asking it. I just want it to be fun still, and yeah, that's what I'm doing here. So next is the horn, and now I think it's Svenjo's favorite trick, or one of his favorites. But in the beginning, it was pretty hard to learn it to him, so I tried a lot of things. Even though he loves to pick everything up in his mouth, this was a bit strange for him. But now he just loves it when he hears the sound of the horn. And he loves to bite in it and squeeze it all day long. As I said, Svenjo loves to pick up things. So I have a cone that's very flexible. And I ask him to pick it up and bring it to me. So in the beginning, I just saw how he picked it up and then I started to reward it and now well it's been a long time since I done that but done this but he's still getting it so he packs up the cone and he gives it to me or at least tries to give it to me and then he gets the reward and he also loves to throw it around and uh, just play with it so that's very sweet and um, he is having trouble in this video with bringing it to me sometimes but i really want him to bring it to me otherwise he just doesn't get the cookies um because that's i know he can do it but we just have to train it a bit more but that's what i'm asking for him to really bring it to me and if it's getting too much i just stop it for now and do it later on again so because he wasn't really feeling the cone, I thought maybe try it with my whip or his rope. But even when I held it close to his mouth, he just didn't really want to pick it up. So I just need to train him more, I guess, to get it a bit more used to again. Because he loves to do it normally and it's very easy when I lose my whip in the woods. And then he can pick it up for me. And then it's time for the next trick and that's the salute. And after that, the Spanish walk, of course. So Svenja loves to throw his legs around in the air and let everybody see how Spanish he can be. Um, but sometimes he gets a bit impatient and just stamps it on the ground, which of course isn't what I want him to do. And sometimes he just lifts it, but doesn't really uh, kick it out. So we're still working on that, but he already lifts his feet, which of course is amazing already so now on to the next and that's of course the spanish walk because that's a logical trick to do after the salute and well Svenjo is really trained in spain and i think he learned a lot of these tricks already um and he just loves to walk and throw his legs around as i told you and it's super funny to see how he picks up the spanish walk sometimes he just walks behind me and I'm not even asking him and he just starts giving me the Spanish walk and um, of course that can be dangerous but I know he will watch out um, and sometimes I'm just walking around in the arena and we're playing a bit and then he just gives it to me when I'm just saying give him the signals and he can really keep on walking but can you really stop throws his leg and steps further but Svenjo really keeps walking and kicking his legs out so I really love to see how good he is in the Spanish walk and I'm always dreaming when I see him do it 
I picked up the cone again to see if he was interested in playing with it right now, but he still wasn't really in the mood for it, even though uh, we did something in between, uh, well, so I asked it again, but then I thought, well, if he's not in the mood, he was looking at it, so I said he was a good boy for that, and then I looked if he wanted to do it with the rope halter, he also wasn't in the mood for that, and uh, then he just walked away. So, I guess he just needed to time out. Well, I don't know what's wrong with Svenjo at this moment, but he's not really motivated, even when I tried his favorite trick, and that's um, uh, bringing the cone to me, or my whip, or my rope. But I think he's going to brawl now, and maybe he feels better, but we're in the sun, so maybe it's just as hot. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm going to try, if he wants to do another trick, um, let give him an other break from the trick I was asking and then see in the end if he wants to do the trick uh, even though he didn't want to do it now he just rolled so I'm going to try it again uh, and otherwise I think this was it but I'm going to let him do at least one more trick so he can end it well <laughs> So after the break I put again down my rope and I asked him to pick it up and give it to me. He already started to pick it up but he still wasn't willing to give it to me. He was just thinking, oh cookies and forgot to bring the rope to me. So I worked on him picking it up and me getting it and then when I had it in my hand giving the cookies. But <laughs> the alpacas came to interrupt our little session so he was a bit distracted but um, I think it was really important that we come back to him realizing oh I only get the cookies when I give her the rope or the cone or the whip just in this case the rope um, so we just worked on that for a little while and when he did that a few times I uh, and I rewarded him for that and I had a little break with my horn um, I just decided that it was enough for him uh, with this trick and that it was okay for now. And the last trick is again the bow and standing white first. So first I ask Svenja to stand white. He still finds it really hard to keep his hind legs behind the pole, but we're slowly getting there. And when he's white, I already can ask his head a bit with me. He still finds it hard to keep it there because he doesn't get the cookies immediately. Um, and when I asked him the bow the first time, he tripped with his hind leg over the pole or something. I don't exactly know what happened, but um, slowly we're getting to what it should be and I'm already very happy with the process we're making. We had a little break because I couldn't really figure it out um, how to fix the problems we're, we had so I just give it a break and now he was doing it again for the first time after a while and I'm really happy with how he's doing. I can lift his leg but he still needs to bring his head with me. Um, but he, I think when I have a carrot the next time, he will immediately give his head to me and that will be easier, but I don't want to pull his head down every time. Svenjo really tries to work with me and that's what I really like. After all, Svenjo did really well. Um, he even did the bow, which he finds very difficult normally, but when I got him in the right pose, uh, all white he got the idea what to do i think he knows it deep down maybe he has done it before don't steal the cookies he did really well he even got a nice roll as a break and the alpa alpacas came in the middle to disturb us but i'm really happy how he did it so he's done and now he can go so i hope you enjoyed seeing the track training with Svenjo with Pequeno that is somewhere over there in the dark, in the shadow and with the little Primero um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this give it a thumbs up if you liked it 
there will be coming a video where I'm going to teach Sonnet horses trick training, trick training for the first time. So subscribe if you don't want to miss that one. And if there are any questions or something, just leave them down below in the comments. Bye.